who are the people that are coming to you and give us a little bit of... The group is a bunch of teenagers in a, a new public high school. It's the old Votech, which I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but a lot of the kids haven't made it in other places, in other schools and things like that. So this whole time that we've been together, you've been very patient with us as you've let us tell you the story over and over and over again about bringing your resistance down through meditation and then getting ready to get ready to get ready to get ready to get ready. But let's talk about it from the whole other end of the emotional scale, because this end of the emotional scale is starting with no resistance. And when you start with no resistance, the natural laws of the universe will bring you momentum and your energy in an upward fashion. In other words, if you start with contentment and satisfaction, it's going to build into something that feels more like interest that then feels more like a strong intuition or impulse. It feels more like a feeling of love and appreciation. And so that satisfaction is just going to get stronger and stronger until there is passion and enthusiasm and exhilaration in other words that's what happens but what if your starting point isn't there they haven't meditated life's been beating them up pretty good even since they got together in that program they've been beating each other up pretty good and so let's say just for sake of this example that their vibration would call forth this emotional word depression despondency fear some of them have moved upward from there into hatred, revenge, anger. I think loneliness is also. Let's start with their set point and let's call them forward. But let's recognize that where they are is where they are and it's okay. Where they are is where they are. And so we're asking you to notice someone who seemed really depressed who now is anger and mouthing off. And we're asking you to look for the satisfaction factor in that. Oh, good job. I'd so much rather that you're mad. Now, a lot of programs don't know that. A lot of programs will give them drugs just to keep them from misbehaving. They would take despondency and depression over anger and revenge any day because if somebody is depressed, they leave you alone. They sleep on the couch. But if somebody's angry, now you got to watch what they're doing because now they're trouble and they're looking for trouble. But you who know about vibration and you who's looking for the momentum to increase, don't you know that anger feels better than depression? And so aren't they having a level of satisfaction that only a keen eye, you've all got it, could see? And so now you're satisfied in this progress.